Oakland. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm in the Bay Area. You got to understand. So much. You know, there's so much history in the Bay Area, and there's so much history of of protests, so much history of, you know, like I said, counterculture, so much history of going against the grain and, you know, fighting for what we believe in and what we feel is right and this, that, and the other. So, you know, the Bay Area, with all of our history and legacy of, you know, like speaking up, of, yeah. of demonstrating, of acting out, of, you know, just just fighting for, you know, fighting for things that matter, man. It's just like, yeah. I, I hope everybody from the Bay, you know, that we, 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 we share that understanding and that, you know, that the carry on that tradition of like, you can't be from the Bay and not, and not vote and not let your voice be heard and not, you yeah. know what I'm saying, be out here. That's just, that's just a mandatory. Um, and, you know, just like, I mean, beyond the Bay, this, this goes to everybody tuning in and everybody, period. It's just like, right. everybody's got to get out there. Mm -hmm. You know? That's it. Uh, that, that, and that's, that's something that we definitely want to stress. You being a, 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 an artist and an influencer and someone with yeah. a huge problem, a lot of people looking up to you, especially you being from uh, an area, like you said, like the Bay, um, in, the, in the history of, of protesting and people just use, using their voice and their platform to make a difference, um, it, it, it goes... And it fall in line exactly with what you're saying. Hold on, hold on. Losing a little bit of connection here. Hold. Hopefully you got me. Get back. Oh, yeah, I lost good. connection for a second. I lost you for a second. Yeah, yeah. But um, but really quickly, uh, you touched on it early, but but how have you used your voice and your platform just to make sure you spread that that same um tradition as as the area that you're from? Uh, I mean, just just making it a point day in and day out, being aware of my platform, obviously being aware of you know whether that's social media, whether that's you know, whether that's, you know, music, whether that's like getting out and actually, you know, actually demonstrate. I mean, it's like, we all got to do our part, man. So, yeah. you know. No, exactly. 100%. Now, now you see also, a lot of, yeah. Oh yeah. Go, go, ahead. Ahead. go ahead. No, I just like, I also, I also advocate, you know, for all of us to, to do our part in terms of, of being informed. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I, like I tell everybody this and I try to do my part too, but like, you know, watch the news, uh, read the news, you know, yeah. have these conversations, you know, ask older people, you know what I'm saying? Just just do the due diligence and put the effort into just like, you know, pay attention and learn for yourself and then make your own informed decision, mm -hmm. you know, because it's like we can we, we can holler all we want, you know, on social media and we can we can say these things and we can this, that and the other. But, you know, if it's not coming from a place of of information. Mm -hmm. you know, then, then that's ignorance, no, exactly. you know, and, and I'm not trying to, you know, put down either side, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying the, the, the responsibility of, of speaking out, you know, should come with a responsibility of knowing what you're speaking about exactly. and being informed, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, like literally to be fair, bro, I'll, I'll watch both CNN and Fox going mm -hmm. back and forth. Yeah, exactly. to like to you see both, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, you gotta know both sides and this mm -hmm. and the other. And I, you know, as, as, as divided as we are as a country right now and how sad that is to see, mm -hmm. you know, it should be people's efforts to, you know, listen to each other. Mm -hmm. You know, you see a nation divided, you see a nation that's, you know, that's, that's going through multiple crises, yeah. you know, from racial injustice to COVID. And, you know, you hear, you, you have to listen to each other. Right. You have to hear like each other and, and that takes the effort of being informed and, 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 and just doing that work. No, no, no. Well, you, you hit it right on the nail as, as far as listening. Yeah. I feel like listening with, with, with knowledge and education, you have to know how the right. other, others, someone else is feeling in order for you to even feel that empathy. Because if you and don't literally. know the background or have knowledge of, of, of why they're responding this way, um, then, you know, you, you can't make an informed decision on how to move forward literally. and keep it together. So yeah. you hit it right yeah. on the nail, man. Now, now, you've seen on the news a lot of places, a lot, a lot of businesses are being boarded up. Now, um, they, some people are probably expecting some civil unrest. Now, what is your expectation yeah. um, whenever we get the result? Because we don't know if we get it tonight, tomorrow, next week. Well, what is your expectation? I mean, the unfortunate thing is, you know, with all the division that we're experiencing in our country right now, with all the unrest, you know, with all the feelings of, you know, certain groups are, are crying for help, saying that, you know what I mean, like they're in pain and then and then they're not being heard or not being respected or not being acknowledged. That just creates more unrest. And it's like with more division comes more unrest. With yeah. less listening comes more action. Because mm -hmm. it's like if you're not going to listen, you know, and that's why I preach over and over and over, bro. It's like 
it comes down to empathy and it comes down to like listening to each other. That's the only way you can like start to begin to heal this division, exactly. you know, but otherwise, you know what I mean? It's going to be like, like, of course, bro, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of terrifying to think about what to expect, yeah. you know, because I think on either side, you know, we're so divided that, you know, this side is upset if this one is, this side is upset. And then there's the confusion that we may not even know tonight. Yeah. So, you know, I just, I just like, you feel for, you feel for the the businesses, especially small businesses that have been hurting this whole time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the, the mom and pops that have been going through it already, you know, and then exactly. now, like, and then now it's, 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 it like the division is reaching a, a head because it's like, you finally get this election and, mm -hmm. you know, like you're going to see a decision. If not tonight, you're going to see a decision that's mm -hmm. concrete. That's like, you yeah. know what I mean? Irreversible sooner or later, you know, you have, even more potentially like man it's just it's just crazy to think about man so yeah. again my empathy goes out to the small businesses especially mm -hmm. that are going through it the hardest that are worried about taking another loss that are having to board up and protect themselves man mm -hmm. it's just be safe out there y'all no 100 percent, man i think that's a great charge and a great message and you hit everything right right on the nail especially it's so much so many layers to unpack um yeah as far as the result you hit definitely hit that right on the nail so i appreciate that that message and, and, and that charge um, so real quickly, let's talk some music, man. Um, mm -hmm. Now, now, have this, these last seven months, you know, I like to ask a lot of artists, a lot of creators over these last seven months, how did that, these this time uh, help your creativity or did it did it stifle it? Where where are you within that? Man, it's it, it's weird, man. And I know I've made a lot of weird music over the last seven months. It's all good. It's, you know, you, know, I mean? it, it, it's you know, yeah, but as an artist, I kind of, I kind of had to look at it like maybe this is a silver lining offering me a chance that I wouldn't normally get mm -hmm. and find that as a positive, you know, it's like, it, it's not, it's not usual for me to be able to have this much time to, you know, to make whatever the hell I wanted to make without a filter, without expectation of it being to something, you know what I mean? It's like, it was just me and my studio. So I really tried to spend the time just expanding my creativity and just exploring and just like making things that I wouldn't normally make. And they were really just for me, Definitely. you know, I decided to share some of it, but I probably made at least a hundred songs since, since quarantine started, man. He's working. Um, yeah, a lot of, I mean, like some of his rap, some of his, you know, mm -hmm. more melodic, like singing stuff. But, you know, I've just been, um, just been trying to expand and trying to grow. Of course, there's areas that, that, that you don't feel as inspired because it takes being outside to get inspired, you know? Exactly, true. You got to live. Like, like you, you have to live, bro. Yeah. Like, you know, I spend nights in the club to, you know, to come home and then write <laughs> something inspired by it, you know what I mean? Oh or, exactly. you know, it's a cycle or like just traveling, getting to live the life, you know, and, and getting to play shows and getting to just see different people and, and be around the world and whatnot that you don't get to do anymore. So, uh, you know, I mean, it's been some of a balance, man. Okay. We're just trying to make the most. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Now, now you recently dropped a single with Black Bear. Uh, mm -hmm. Just talk about that single. How did it come about? And uh, any expectation for it going forward? Yeah. Um, no, nah, the, the 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 single the single of Black Bear. I'm 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 hella excited about man. Bear's my homie. That's my brother for yeah. for a long ass time. He worked with me on the uh, the first these things happen. Okay. And um, so he was all over that album. Whether 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 the fans even knew it or not, he even produced some on there. Um, so I had to have him on the sequel to these things happen. Uh, and I mean the single is 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 doing incredible, man. It just feels great to see the fans like like reacting to it. Thanks. Um, you know, it's all good. Definitely, definitely. Now, 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 with that single, like you said, you've been cooking up a lot of music over the downtime. Um, can 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 fans anticipate a project before end of the year, or are you looking towards twenty twenty one? Hey man, hey, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, okay. <laughs> nah, yeah, we'll see. Definitely. Okay, okay. So mm -hmm. we okay. So we looking at twenty twenty one. That's cool. That's cool. The, the this fourth quarter anyway. You know you. I mean it's yeah. I mean, it, dude, it's, it's, it's been a crazy process because, you know, if I'm going to do a sequel to my first album, mm -hmm. you know, th that comes with the highest level of respect. Yeah, exactly. Like, I wouldn't do that in half acid. You know, mm -hmm. I would never disrespect, you know, the album that put me here. So really, uh, this one was just like, like, I, I wanted to give it my all. And, you know, I didn't, my, I, I, I didn't know that would become 350 songs getting made over the course of, you know, two, two plus years, but yeah. that's where we're at. Yeah. And, you know, just in the process of whittling it down, just mixing it, shooting all the videos, getting ready to shoot the album art. Yeah. And really just like, you know, excited to finally put that album to bed and finally, you know, 
and, and finally give it to the fans, man. I, you know, I appreciate the support and the patience from all the fans. I'm just grateful. So definitely, definitely. That's a great way to look at it. Great way to look at it now. Yeah. Now, can you, can you, have you been, I know you, uh, you dropped a song with, with Black Bear. Is there any other collaborations that you can share at the moment? I mean, one of the, one of the, this is one of the first ones I did for the album, but mm -hmm. still one of the ones that I'm most excited about is just having Wayne on my album, Lil Wayne. Um, that's, that's one of my favorite songs on the project, uh, still, you know, I can't, I can't wait for the world to hear that one just for like, if you know me, if you know what, you know, Lil Wayne has meant to me in my career. So excited for that. Definitely. Definitely. So we got it. We got fans can look forward to a Jeezy and, and, and uh, and Wheezy. G -E yeah. Yeah. Easy and Wheezy. Definitely. Definitely. Looking forward to that, man. Now, now I know, I know you've been working on, um, start, starting your own label. Um, yeah, and, and you have an artist that you you you're gonna um, introduce very soon. Um, just talk mm -hmm. about the process, of just starting to, starting an independent label, and, and then um, and then bring it like yeah. the artist to the world. Nah, man. Uh, so I mean, it's it's always been something I've wanted to get into. Mm -hmm. You know, just just from the collaborative nature of you know me spotting talent coming up, and and you know being out, like I'll I'll work with anybody. I'm I'm like that moved by or that like inspired by or whatever but you know this is this is like a brother to me this is one of my best friends in life shouts out Kosi Kosisko his project is is out of this world that's gonna be yes. the first project on my album so look out for Kosi um man I'm just I'm just really excited for what's to come with him I feel like you know he's been working his ass off and the body of work he has is incredible man definitely definitely so shouts out to Kosi if, if, if you can if you can describe his sound uh but you know you're gonna be introducing him uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> his sound, his sound, man, his sound is one of the most eclectic, like all over the places, you know, it's a blend of like, I mean, he's as inspired as I am by, you know, the Mac Dre's and the E-40s, but, you know, he, he goes deep all the way to, to, to David Bowie to, you know, to, to Prince and Michael Jackson, and he's just all over the place with it, man, but, you know, he's an incredible talent, man. Everybody, everybody go, man, shouts out, shouts out Kosisko, that's K-O-S-S-I-S-K-O. We just call him Kosi, K-O-S-S-I. Just get ready. Just trust me, believe me. Okay. Just remember I said it, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out, Kosi. Got you, got you, got you. Now, now, he, now you're giving him a level of expectation that, that um, he yeah. got to up to. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say if I didn't believe it. Got you, 100%, man. Now, before yeah. you go, G-Eazy, um, one last message to, to the voters out there, the youth out there, everyone across the nation, the floor is yours. Yeah. Um, just know that that you know this is this is your civic duty this is your responsibility it's not hard to actually do you know it's not some mountain you have to go climb you know it's not some marathon you have to go run you know this is this is this is your responsibility as an american and you know as we all you know become of the become aware of the world that we live in mm -hmm. it's it's you know it's incredibly important to to stay informed you know, to develop your own opinions, mm -hmm. to not be, I know it's very hard to like, if you're born into a certain family, not just, you know, follow the same views and values as your family, you know what I mean? You know, but what's, what's beyond that, you know, is developing your own voice and own opinion, you know what I'm saying? As you grow up, as you become a human being, period. So, you know, go out there, get the information, you know, watch the news, read the news, get informed, have the conversations with people and go vote, go yeah. vote. Definitely, definitely, man. Well, G-Eazy, we appreciate you coming on the show, uh, talking to us, and, and definitely echoing that message because you definitely dropped a lot of gems today, brother. Uh, right on, right on. Do this again when that, when that project comes out, and uh, we'll yeah, yeah. soon. Right on. Much love, bro. Appreciate you. All right, peace.